okay, I gotta be really quick about this because I gotta get ready for work in like three hours, which means I get an hour and a half of sleep. What up everyone, Jay here, back again with another video. I just got back from seeing Rogue One at Star Wars store, and I gotta say, I enjoyed it a lot. Now, a lot of you might think I'm a little biased here since I've been a Star Wars fan since I was a kid, though that may be somewhat true. This is a standalone flick that's pretty much a war heist movie, but set in the Star Wars universe. Think Monuments Man, but in space, a lot darker, and you know, good. That being said, for what it was, a really enjoyable flick. For those who don't know, this movie is a prequel slash spin-off to A New Hope and how the Rebel Alliance got a hold of the Death Star Blueprints. Anyone who's seen A New Hope knows the outcome of that. Now, a lot of things I like about this movie. The attention to detail when it comes to continuity is stellar. When it comes to how it looks, the special effects, and even the little easter eggs, it's very reminiscent of the traditional trilogy. Also, the fact that they digitally resurrected Peter Cushing from the grave into the movie, and pretty seamlessly, I may add, it's fucking insane. Plus, it's pretty sweet to hear James Earl Jones play Darth Vader again. The acting's pretty good, and I love how diverse the cast is. Star Wars has come a very long way from having Lando being the only non-white person in the universe. Also, am I the only one who got a Dennis Hopper in Blue Velvet vibe from Forrest Whitaker's character? It's a breathing apparatus. <sighs> the action's well done, too. Again, this is very much a war film, as it is a Star Wars flick, and for what they were going for, they did a pretty good job. The fight scenes are pretty good as well, but it's far and in between, though Donnie Yen has never been in a bad fight scene in his life. Now for the things I don't like. I might be pretty biased here when it comes to prequels, but since it is a prequel, especially to a story that most of us know pretty well, it's hard to be 100% invested in a story that we already know. Since it's also a war film, and for a war film to be any good or have any weight to it, it's got to have a lot of casualties, and because of that, a lot of the characters seem very disposable since they don't get a lot of backstory and serve no other purpose than to fight and to add to the body count. Also, am I the only one that finds it weird that they had the Latino guy give a Viva la Revolucion type speech in the third act? Speaking of the dialogue, you can turn this movie into a very dangerous drinking game where you take a shot every time someone says the word force in the movie. You get pretty fucked up since I counted around 40 some odd times they did, so don't do it. Also, where the fuck is the Wilhelm scream? How can you do a Star Wars movie without the Wilhelm scream? It's like a trademark of the Star Wars movies. And a lot of movies as well. Now to address the elephant in the room, where does this rank with the other movies and is it better than The Force Awakens? Well to answer the first part, it's hard to say since it's apples and oranges. It's like Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, both are really good but entirely different entities. But if I had to rank it, it would be Empire, A New Hope, Force Awakens, Return of the Jedi, Rogue One, Revenge, Attack, and Phantom, obviously. Now is it better than Force Awakens? Both movies have entirely different tasks. Rogue One is just a standalone movie that takes place within the Star Wars universe and timeline. Force Awakens was a continuation of a film series we all know and love. We had to have Force Awakens in order for Rogue One to happen since so the main goal of Force Awakens was to reintroduce the brand and to show everyone that the film franchise is in good hands. Now that we did that, we can branch off to other sequels, spin-offs, and what have yous. A lot of the criticism Force Awakens had can be also applied to this movie as well. The whole not showing us something new, the amount of fan servicing, and the whole dilemma of the steel stealing droid which basically is used to sell more toys. So to fault one movie and not the other seems pretty silly to me. Now which did I like better? I gotta say I was a lot more invested in Ray and Finn's story than I was Jen's but then again it's apples and oranges and in a film universe as big as Star Wars, both have a place within the stars. See what I did there? So that's my critique of the movie. For what it was, a standalone Star Wars movie, it did a really good job showing us a story that we already know, but in a new light. Adding on to the mythos, with great acting, great action, again, this is a great war movie as it is a great Star Wars movie, and it also shows how much mileage we have left with this film franchise. So, if you've seen this movie, let me know what you thought about it, and yeah, get back to me. So if you excuse me, I'm going to edit this, upload it, Head to bed because fuck work. Later.